Who hasn't heard of Jack Dorsey? From selling his first Twitter tweet as an NFT for $2.9 million to acting as the CEO of Square, he has done it all. If you are unfamiliar with Jack Dorsey, he is an American entrepreneur and website developer. So, today let's have a look at the documentary about Jack Dorsey. Dorsey is best known as the co-founder of the prominent social networking site Twitter, as well as the founder and CEO of Block Incorporated, a financial payments company. Even the most bizarre ideas can sometimes be turned into profitable businesses. For example, the product known as Twitter arose from the passion of a teenage programmer named Jack Dorsey. Jack Patrick Dorsey was born in St. Louis, Missouri on November 19, 1976. Jack grew up in a Catholic middle-class home. Along with his siblings, Andrew and Danny Dorsey, he turned into an incredible businessman. Tim Dorsey and Marcia Smith Dorsey are Jack Dorsey's parents. When Jack Dorsey was younger, he was a perceptive child with a speech handicap. As a consequence, he spent much of his time at home and got interested in minimalism. As a child, Jack was an introverted person who mastered his shyness by competing in speech-making contests. He conquered his phobia of public speaking after numerous failed attempts. As a youngster, Dorsey enjoyed playing with computers. He was enthralled with an initial version of the IBM computer, which he spent many hours, though not days, examining and comprehending. His goal was to create a real-time map of New York City with numerous dots or symbols representing automobiles and landmarks. Jack Dorsey studied at Bishop DuBorg High School and then went to Missouri University of Science and Technology after graduating from high school. After two years, he left to pursue his dream of living in New York and enrolled at New York University, only to drop out in the final year to focus on his Twitter idea. His desire to create the live map took precedence over his studies, but destiny has its peculiarities. Jack Dorsey decided to join Mira Digital Publishing Company in the summer of 1991. Dorsey developed a taxi dispatching application as a teenager, which was accepted by taxicab firms. Prior to relocating to San Francisco, he founded a firm that utilized the internet to deploy couriers, rescue cars, and taxis. Creation of Twitter for many years, Jack was employed as a taxi and ambulance car computer programmer and he was instrumental in a new initiative for a government agency. Due to the business's failure, he was laid off and worked as a freelancer for the next five years. Later, he was recruited by a web-based startup firm in San Francisco founded by Evan Williams, a brilliant programmer and businessman. The firm suffered losses in 2005 as a result of the financial crisis. But when Dorsey was employed as a developer at Audio, a podcasting business led by later Twitter co-founder Evan Williams, the Twitter story came into focus. One day, while having his lunch in the canteen, Jack revealed to the audience his concept of Twitter, which would enable consumers to express their opinions online. In Sarah Fryer's award-winning biography of Instagram, Dorsey emerges as a peripheral person in trying to make his place in Silicon Valley like most others. Jack Dorsey founded Twitter because he intended to merge the SMS notion with an algorithm that could allow only the sender's connection to view the message. It was indeed Twitter's sole guiding principle. In the following two weeks, Dorsey and a friend created Twitter's signature Bluebird design. Dorsey sent out the first tweet, which said, Just setting up my Twitter. Twitter, not Twitter. In the year 2006, Twitter went public. Many individuals dismissed the Twitter concept at first as, I quote, completely pointless. Williams, too, was skeptical of its ability. It was a difficult time since organizations like Audio, which helped young programmers start their own businesses, were not around to assist Dorsey with his Twitter effort. 
Understandably, there was anxiety about funding to keep Twitter from shutting down. Nevertheless, the Twitter crew quickly discovered a high-resolution image of a half a million dollar bill in its inbox. This check was provided by a man called Fred Wilson, who was eager to serve as a strategic advisor for Twitter. His ideas aided Twitter in expanding its international influence. While Twitter's popularity expanded over the years, it was aided by the rapid progress of smartphone technology. There are currently approximately 2.2 billion monthly visits to Twitter. However, let's take a closer look at the past, the 2007 Southwest Film Festival. The real-time communication capabilities of Twitter were demonstrated on numerous screens at the 2007 Southwest Film Festival. As a result, the number of tweets sent each day rose from 20,000 to 60,000. In May of 2008, the one billionth tweet was sent. That year, Twitter's market capitalization soared to an astounding $1.5 billion. As of March 2022, the market value of Twitter's stock was $30.77 billion. Jack Dorsey stepped down as CEO of Twitter. Following Twitter's inception in 2006, Jack Dorsey has operated as its CEO. Nevertheless, he was forced to quit due to reported problems with the platform's operation and the administration of the firm, for which he was removed from his position by the board of directors in 2008. The visionary, on the other hand, saw a Steve Jobs-style comeback to his firm as CEO in 2015 and eventually elected to quit on November 29, 2021, when he left the workplace to make room for Parag Agrawal, who succeeded him instantly on the same day. Concerning Agrawal, Dorsey has stated that, first and foremost, he does not desire Twitter to be a founder-led business. Additionally, he stated that his faith in him is, I quote, bone deep. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey has stated that he will not remain on Twitter's board of directors for long. This is crucial since he believes it is essential to allow Parag the room he requires to command. Dorsey posted his letter of resignation on his own Twitter account. Philanthropic Work In 2016, Dorsey donated nearly 600 Missouri school projects on Donors Choose. Dorsey donated $350,000 to Team Trees, a charity created by YouTuber Mr. Beast with the goal of planting 20 million trees. In addition, Dorsey has given $24 million to more than 40 disaster relief funds. Ibram X. Kendi's Center for Anti-Racist Research at Boston University received $10 million from Dorsey in August 2020. In addition, he contributed $15 million of his personal cash to India's COVID-19 relief operations. These include CARE $10 million, Aid India $2.5 million, and Sewa International $2.5 million, which were the three NGOs. Net worth. So, is Jack Dorsey a multi-billionaire? I mean, does he have a net worth of more than $10 billion? No. Not yet, but I think he'll be there soon. Jack Patrick Dorsey's net worth is estimated to be $7.9 billion. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.